Thursday night movie night. Mm. I'm filming an intro, but I'm never sure if I'm going to end up using this thing because we've <laughs> been to the movies like almost every week since the last couple of months. But um, anyway, we're here today to see the Batman. Not yeah. Batman, it is the Batman because there's only one Batman and we're going to see that one. <laughs> and uh, I really wasn't looking forward to necessarily seeing this because it felt like this movie was made really quick. We've seen how many iterations of Batman <laughs> over the last 20 years. Yeah. And here we are again, another Batman. This movie is getting rave reviews so far. I've not seen any spoilers, um, but I'm here, I'm invested. I'm looking forward to seeing this. I've got my Batman jersey on. <laughs> here we go, look at that. The Batman. Ironically that they have a vampire playing the bat in this movie. Ha ha ha, someone's probably never said that before, but. <laughs> but we are heading into AMC Altamont to check out The Batman. Here's another poster outside the theater too for Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman in The Batman. It doesn't say that she's the Catwoman though. I guess it makes sense though, because you also had like the Penguin, the Joker, the Riddler, the Batman. Do they have the Robin in his too? The Alfred. <laughs> Check it out, we got a free comic. They also have special cocktails here. With black and spice rum. Black and spice rum, one of my favorites. Spice but it is. I said black kraken. Black kraken, black and. <laughs> hey, we didn't even drink anything yet, but you know. The bat, the cat. Mary has tried the cat. They said it was lighter than the bat. More like a seltzer. It's like a flat soda. Oh, delicious. I'm gonna try the bat, which is supposed to be like a rum and coke. They left out the garnishments, no cherries. Oh yeah, I like it. Let's get some of that cracking rum. Actually, that's very good. Let's try this cat. No. Also, I've noticed this is a three-hour movie, so if you have an adult bladder like me, it means a trip to the facilities before the movie starts. The concession stand. The magic of movie popcorn. There's no more salt containers to put your salt on, so you have to use the little individual packets. This is the most critical time of any movie going experience. <laughs> it's also the source of many arguments of ours. And here we go Dolby, the Batman. Dolby. And that is the Batman. Not Batman, not any other Batman, the Batman. So by the way, they are selling popcorn in this ridiculous Batman head for like 26 bucks or $27 <laughs> includes the popcorn and the, the Batman head. I asked a random dude in the lobby to take a picture of his because I wasn't spending $27. So this is what it looks like. Advertising Disney when you can't get in there. Well, fast forward three and a half hours later, incorporating time for the uh, half an hour of trailers we had to sit there. <laughs> um, what'd you think? I thought it was amazing. I thought it was great. I would give it a four out of five. Four, four and a half. Yeah. I thought it's it was a spectacular movie. The third act kind of lost me a little bit towards the end. As far as storytelling goes, though, this was great. It was a return to kind of detective Batman. Yeah. Um, you know. And there's no lull in the whole entire movie. Yeah, it's there's three hours that's packed. Yeah. So, um, different style of Batman than we're used to seeing on the, the big screen lately. Um, and skipping through all of the nonsense of needing to have a backstory again, thank God, could, could, I would have really needed to uh, fidget more in my seat than I already did. <laughs> but Edward uh, was a good Batman. <laughs> I don't know if he's the Batman. best Batman. I think the problem is that coming into this, everybody was saying, this is the best Batman movie of all time. And I think we're so much in a rush to say 
this is the best anything whenever we experience stuff lately but oh, i wouldn't say it's the best but it was really good, it was really good. i still love my michael keaton 1989 batman <laughs> i also say this uh, Catwoman kind of steals the show for a good chunk of the movie. Mm -hmm. She is phenomenal, She's very amazing. well acted and played uh, out on the big screen. And by the way, they, this did look phenomenal on the big screen. Oh my god. <laughs> so there's been so many movies that DC wise and everything that have come out um, through HBO Max through the pandemic. Um, and I expected this would have been one of those as well, but they really kind of rolled the dice and held it to the big screen uh, for release. And it's well worth seeing. Stylistically, the cinematography is the oh, best is I think amazing. I've ever seen in a superhero movie. It, it is not a high frame rate per, per second type of film. I loved every moment of the cinematography. Mm -hmm. The score is awesome that goes with it as it well. It so perfectly. Yeah, it, it is phenomenal as far as those points <laughs> so we're back home just a couple last thoughts um i thought that robert pattinson was uh excellent as batman as I, much as i can around and say edward and i know vampire. i actually when i heard that he was playing batman i was like uh i don't know about that but he he nailed it he yeah, did a great I job i thought he was one of the best uh batmans um besides my beloved michael keaton um but uh Paul, I like Christian Bale too. Yeah, I'm Christian sorry. Bale was good. I mean, he was good as the Dark Knight. Yeah, I, I would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would put him probably third on the list at this point. I'd go Michael Keaton, Robert Pattinson, and Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. Yeah, I could see that. Yep. So. A um, couple other thoughts, though, on other actors. Um, the Riddler is in the movie. I'm not going to give spoilers out, but I'm just going to talk about things that you've seen through trailers yeah, through if you're watching. Trailers. So obviously, you know, the Riddler's in it. Paul Dano is the Riddler. Um, while I think that Robert Pattinson was a really, you know, he exceeded expectations as Batman, Paul Dano was, to me, kind of didn't live up to the, he couldn't deliver the character of the Riddler. I'm kind of stuck on the TV show. The 66 Batman? Yeah. <laughs> the, the Riddler with the, the jacket and the whole, the whole yeah. persona. That's what I, I mean, think of. What about of Jim Carrey? Well, yeah. I mean, he portrays him really well, but I'm, I'm, my brain yeah. is stuck on that. I, I mean, you, it's, obviously, this is a much more serious Riddler yeah. in this movie. <laughs> um, but I, I think that uh, I, I get where they were going. I just didn't think that he succeeded. Uh, Zoe Kravitz is oh, Catwoman, and amazing. if you don't know, that's the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet. She's uh, stunningly beautiful. Mm -hmm. The acting was phenomenal. But another fun fact, she actually did the voice of Catwoman in the Lego Batman movie as well. So she oh, reprised really? her role here. That's really cool. I so, didn't even know that. Uh, but she is uh, phenomenal. And uh, I know I haven't kept up much with the DC Universe and what they're planning for movies. But I thought that I read that she was, they were trying to do, or they're going to do their own Catwoman movie. Oh, I don't know. But I don't know. Maybe they made You know more than me. Maybe I'm just making that up. <laughs> um Colin Farrell is uh, the is Penguin in the movie. I didn't even know that was him. Yeah, and uh, to be honest, the only reason why I knew it was him initially was because we went to see Studio 66, 666, last week. <laughs> I keep calling it Studio 66. We didn't put up a video for it because we shot a video, and then I got so frustrated because I, I wanted that movie to be so much more than what it was, and I it didn't mm -hmm. like it. But uh, while we were waiting uh, outside the theater... They were screening Batman for the press, or the Batman for the press, and they had a guard outside that was securing everyone's phones uh, and everything, and I overheard people talking about um, Colin oh, Farrell in yeah. the show. Oh, yeah, that's so, right, I remember that. Um, but uh, he he is uh, phenomenal in the movie oh also. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, Gollum is uh, Alfred, so um, <laughs> he is phenomenal as well. In all uh, seriousness, Andy Serkis was uh, was really great. So I think the acting was great. I think the first two acts were great. Um, this movie has so much detail you know, that you're following through this thing. It's very Scooby-Doo-ish with all the twists and turns uh, that are going on throughout the movie. That in the third act, it feels like all of a sudden they hit the accelerator. And as they're talking through like different plot points about who's who and what happened here and what's that. And I was like... At one point, I I just thought like the 
maybe I fell asleep for a minute because I was like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> like, wait, who are all of these people that they're talking about? And then yeah. ultimately when they go through like this whole uh, parade of characters that they talk about and like, you know, who's necessarily the bad guy, uh, you get to the end of the movie, some things don't make sense. And I'm not doing any spoilers in this video, so please don't leave the spoilers below either. But where they end up for the kind of like the final battle scene made zero sense to me. Uh, and what happens at the end of the movie um, really didn't tie up any loose ends. There's some fan service towards the end, but mm -hmm. as far as loose ends with other uh, plot points and stuff. Yeah, it kind of just, just left it hanging. Yeah, you just got to the thing and they were like, oh, oh shit, we're out of time. And they, <laughs> this is it's long like, enough yeah, movie, let's yeah. end it here. Cut, <laughs> everyone go home. We'll figure it out for Batman 2, or The Batman 2. So, yeah. but in any event, it was great. Great movie experience. Um, I don't know what the next great movie experience is um, because uh, it feels like movies are few and far between. So, but we've seen like Jackass in the theater recently, Studio 666. And um, oh, that, there that, was an that Elvis that movie that was coming out that looked really great nope. in the previews. Oh, and Nope. Nope. Yeah, so That's, those are the two big movies yeah. I think that are on that looks kinda scary. The, the, the board right now and Doctor Strange. So, um, in any event, we're getting out of here. We enjoyed the movie. Go enjoy it too. Mm hmm. Uh, before the movie theaters all go out of business. I <laughs> keep looking at like other people that I'm friends with that bought like penny stocks for AMC that are forever hoping that AMC stock will rise up. So yeah. the only way that'll happen is if you keep going to movie theater. Anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Bye.